Everybody and welcome back to another Kraken Packs video. I am your host, Mr. Rivers. That's right. We're going to open up a bundle of Aether Revolt. Do you know why? Because I'm a glutton for punishment. Aether Revolt has done nothing but dissatisfy me for the entirety of its availability. But that doesn't mean that I don't want to open more of it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I think most of you do. Also, I figure everyone just wants to watch me just, you know, descend further into madness. And that is, we've opened up, I don't know how much product from Aether Revolt, and we've opened up, like, what, one? A single, a single solitary invention from Aether Revolt? And it was from a pre-release kit. Out of a case of pre-release kits. We opened a case of pre-release kits, and we got one invention. One. So we got our die there. That'll go in the pile. There it is. In the pile. Did you hear? It fell off the pile because the pile is too tall. The pile is now too large and the dies just fell. Now we're not going to do what we did last week, which was pack one, pick one, because this is no longer a format that you can draft. That being said, I mean, the other video might not age well and maybe, uh, maybe we don't get there. Who knows? But, um, wait, maybe we should count... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we're going to keep the packs with the foils in them to the end. Does that make sense? Let's why not, right? Outland Boar. Aerial Modification. Pacification Array. And our rare is an Inspiring Statuary. So that's our rare. We'll leave our rare right there. And there is a foil in that pack. Inspiring Statuary is a very good card. Couple bucks, I believe. No foil in this pack. Renegade Rallier. Scrapper Champion. Ridge Scale Tusker. And Metallic Mimic. Alright, I'll take it. It's another pretty good hit. And we got an emblem for Tezzeret. Good old Tezzy emblem. Okay, no foil again. Cogwork Assembler. Hidden Stockpile. This was also a cool card that got played quite a bit in Standard uh, when it was there. Enraged Giant. And Oath of a Johnny as our rare. Little, little Oath Man. The Oath that showed up a little bit late to the party, right? I guess the latest one, though, was Liliana, right? Liliana's Oath was in Amonkhet, wasn't it? Trophy Mage, Maverick Thopterist, Reckless Racer, and... Oh, man, you guys are going to be so stoked. Look at that. This card follows me everywhere. Whenever I'm opening up Aether Revolt product, if I don't open an Aether Tide Whale, it's just not, it's just... Take it back. Take all of the packs back. I could open all of the inventions out of Aether Revolt, but if I don't get my Aether Tide Whale, boy howdy. Boy howdy. So I think we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in this pack. So we've got another foil here. So Ironclad Revolutionary, Hidden Herbalists, Consulate Dreadnought, and Baral's Expertise. We'll put that there. Two foils. We got two foils out of this bundle. And we hit a pretty decent uh, couple of rares so far. Metallic Mimic, Inspiring Statuary. I don't think Oath of a Johnny is worth anything. Restoration Specialist. Treasure Keeper. Illusionist's Stratagem. And Quicksmith Rebel. Want to shoot some things? Do a little bit of damage? Make your artifacts. Basically, you have shock on a stick. There you go. There you go. Okay, another foil. Three foils out of one bundle is pretty good. Cogwork Assembler. 
Gonti's Machinations, Aerial Modification, and our rare's a rich car, Pima's Renegade. Not a bad little rare. I don't know if it's worth a whole heck of a lot anymore, but it was a solid card in standard at the time. Winding Constrictor. There's another. This was an uncommon that was running rampant uh, with these decks, uh, mainly because it adds extra extra tokens to your permanents. So Planeswalkers, uh, one one counters. Po uh, it's on a permanent that you control, right? Yeah, so you want your plus one, plus one counters, your experience counters, your level up counters, your uh, loyalty tokens. So lots of stuff. Lots of things that got just better with Winding Constrictor. Airdrop Aerionauts, Crackdown Construct, and Consulate Crackdown as our rare. Still, we haven't hit a Mythic, which is interesting. So normally by now you would expect probably, like, generally, general rule of thumb is you generally get at least one mythic out of a bundle. On average. Narnam Renegade. This was another uncommon that was over a dollar at the time of release of this set. Mainly because it was a elf warrior for one that's actually a 1-2 with death touch. But it has revolt that says if uh, it enters the battlefield, it enters the battlefield with a 1-1 one -one counter on it. If a permanent you control had left the battlefield this turn. So not a bad little uncommon. Crackdown Construct again. Fatal Push. There you go. That's a hit. Um, it's only about like 3 or $4 dollars now as opposed to the 7 to $8 dollars it was for the longest time, but still, just a standout removal card from this set. Very, very good. Um, and a call for unity as our rare. So we got a couple, got another emblem for Tezzeret. Interesting. All right, so I think we're going to sit at three foils here, which means may we have a, you know, not a, not a, not the worst chance in the world at an invention, but not the best chances either. We all know it's not going to be. It's all just going to be a bunch of, like, random foils. Ravenous Intruder. Shielded Aether Thief. A second Fatal Push. Two Fatal Pushes in one bundle. If you had opened this at release, that would have been amazing. You would have been, like, super, super happy about that because Fatal Push at release was well over the 7 to $8 mark for the Uncommon. And a Heroic Intervention. This card's actually sitting at, like, a $5 right now, somewhere in that range. This card is just very good. Two mana, permanence you control, gain hexproof and indestructible until end of turn for instant instant speed. Like, just very good. All right, so we didn't open any mythics, but we did get three foils, and we hit some pretty decent rares and two fatal pushes. This bundle is already a win. So, you know, just so that we're clear, when we get our foils and none of them are inventions, we don't need to be disappointed. All right. How about a foil metallic mimic? I'll take it. I'll take it. If you had opened this at release, that would have been a big hit for you. Like this would have been pretty stellar. Holy moly! That is, I mean, I don't know what it's sitting at right now, but I would imagine it's still a decently priced card. Um, I have no idea what it's actually sitting at. See, okay, now we know that this is not an invention, so we'll look at this one first because we saw that it was red. So we know. See, there you go. We got an Enraged Giant, just a junk uncommon, right, with our... Oh, we got our little legendary monkey token, though. Look at that guy, right there. Yeah. All right, Rishkar, what secrets do you hide? See? There you go, Aether Swooper. So we knew, we knew that we weren't going to hit an invention in here. But that being said, this bundle was actually pretty good considering it didn't even hit a mythic there were no mythics in this bundle um which is a little disappointing from the aspect of someone if you would open this at release you would hope to get like at least one mythic that being said you opened up two metallic mimics which were sitting at like the six to twelve dollar range at release right you opened up uh rishkar which was heavily played in standard heroic intervention which was probably sitting around the two to five dollar range the whole time you opened up a winding constrictor which was probably sitting at the, like the you know at top end of uncommon so somewhere between 50 to 80 cents maybe a little maybe pushing a dollar at the time of release and two fatal pushes which were pushing like the you know eight to ten dollar range at release 
right? So, I mean, like, the fact that you've got two Metallic Mimics, Heroic Intervention, Rishkar's Expertise, uh, Rish, uh, Rishkar Pima Renegade, and Inspiring Statuary, as well as two Fatal Push and a Constrictor, I think you would have been very happy with this bundle at release. Very good. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. And, as we all know, we continue to not open inventions from Aether Revolt. That's right. Just not going to happen. Just If I want them, I'm going to just have to buy them, right? That's just how it's going to be. I'm never going to open never gonna open one out of a pack. It's just not going to happen. It's too late. The set's out of print. It doesn't exist anymore unless you're buying stock from people who are selling it for way too much money because of the chance of there being an invention in it. Um, there you go. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget, if you want to help support the channel, um, I do have a Patreon where you can sign up. You will get rewards, things like grab bags, booster boxes, bundles, that kind of stuff. We also do a sort of patron giveaway thing every month where we do some extra cards from the One of Everything series. If you haven't seen the One of Everything series, check it out. It's every Wednesday, um, and you'll see, like, there's some good stuff that we've put in that pile uh, for those patrons. And they every patron at one of the MTG tiers gets one of those cards every month that they roll over. So, like, if you were to sign up right now in January, when I do the drawing for January, you would get one of those cards. And it might be, you know, it might be... It, it, essentially, all those cards are at least a dollar or something playable and standard. Right? That's And, and most of them are well over a dollar. Let's put it that way. I think there's... I think I calculated it out earlier, and that patron pile is well over the $400 mark in value. So... Anyway, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I've been your host, Mr. Rivers, and if you can't support with a monetary value, thanks for just watching. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you being here and watching my videos. Thanks so much. And as always, may your pulls ever be better.